Okay, so sometimes when you have a file you're going to pretty print and you're in your slicer, as you're going through the layers, you see these little weird anomalies kind of inside the infill. And these are artifacts or holes or empty areas that the slicer is building walls around to protect them or enclose them. They're just air pockets inside that infill. And you really don't want these because it adds print time and it's just... It's really kind of it's inside the model. No one's going to see it, but it does. It does. You know, it bothers me at least, and it probably should bother you too. So, if we want to remove these, um, I've I've been struggling with this problem of how to get rid of these, and I finally found a, a real simple solution for this. So, the solution is to get Mesh Mixer, a free product, and bring the model into that. So, bring your OBJ into that, and then what you do up here is you go up here and you say View toggle visibility and when you do that off the view menu toggle visibility you'll be able to toggle it into a transparent mode and confirm that those little air pockets or, or voids exist inside the model and these could have could have been um, originated as part of an error in the modeling or uh, an artifact from scanning where it maybe it had a like, tunnel going into the model and then when the the author of the model was working on the model then maybe they closed the outer skin and that left that kind of tunnel which then turned into an air pocket or hole in the middle but it's real hard to find these as well as get rid of them so I'm going to show you how to do this real quick so what we can do is say uh, is go into uh, is go in to get the visibility back on um, and go into edit mode edit and choose this op option called separate shells so before we do that though we have this object browser we, we should bring up. If you don't have it up, say view, um, hide object, or view to show object browser. And you should only have one OBJ in your object browser. Get, get it so you just have that one that's the active one that you're, you're selecting. So that's kind of first thing. Then go over to um, edit, separate shells. And this basically takes all of the air pockets and turns them into a shell and also turns in your outer model into its own shell and you can go through these selecting them and you can see which one's which so if I toggle visibility that's the outer one well that's not really doing it there because I'm basically toggling the visibility of the whole thing but this is the outer shell here that's because I'm selecting it these are actually inner shells and the way I can prove that to you is if I go to the outer shell and hit delete on my keyboard, delete key, I've deleted it, and now I'm seeing the other objects, other voids, as their own shells. So we're going to want to delete these, but we got to get our main model back. So hit Control Z to undo. And there, we got our model, we got our main one back. It's now going to be the bottom one, not the first one. So we're going to keep this one but this actual outer shell, but we're going to delete the balloons inside, these other four. So we'll hit delete, 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 and delete. And so now we just have that one, the main one we want. And if we export this out as a new OBJ, call it five, number five, and bring that into Prusa Slicer. So import number five. Okay, if we slice this and go through the layers, we do not have those artifacts anymore because we've, we've removed them. So that's a quick little walkthrough of using the Push a Slicer program to first see the issue and then exporting it out to Mesh Mixer to fix it using the Shells tool and as well as the Toggling Visibility command to, to see those and confirm that they exist. I hope this helps you. And I'll be trying other things like this, little 3D printing tricks in my channel as well. So please, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.